Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Kristen, explain to me uh, the trial behind you, or the demo behind you. So this is the UCC site, which stands for Ultimate Canola Challenge, and we're doing it all across the Western Prairies. Here in Manitoba, we have three competing teams that uh, each get to make their own agronomic decisions throughout the entire season. So everything from seeding date to seeding depth, um, fertility, herbicide, um, fungicide, insecticide, every single treatment that a farmer would make, um, our teams are doing. So we have a grower group, um, is team one, uh, team crop, and then we have MAFRI, with, which is led by Anastasia Kubinik, our oilseed specialist. And we have Team CCA, which is led by Curtis Cavers from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. And what are some of the, now the trial just went in uh, about 10 days ago, is that? Correct? Yeah, we actually, all three varieties ended up getting seeded on May 17th uh, because of our delayed spring. Um, some teams would have chosen an earlier seeding date, but we couldn't get onto the field. So first possible day on the field, we got in here. Um, and so the, the team crop, which is the tr field we're standing in front of right now, they decided to go with the disc drill at five miles per hour at three quarters of an inch deep using L154. Okay, and so we are gonna do uh, a few plant counts here. So let's take a look. Sounds good. So in order to keep plant counts completely random, you cannot just choose your location. So you should toss your, your hoop. Excellent toss, Kristen. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And then you just come down and you count the number of plants that fall within the quarter meter squared. So I'm just going to remove some of the trash here so we can do a better count. One, two, three, four, five. So are we happy with this? Yeah, I mean, ideally you want to have 7 to 14 plants per square foot is what we recommend. Um, but I mean, we would love to see 10 to 14. So this is adequate. I don't carry a hula hoop around, but what I do is actually measure uh, the amount of plants in a row. So you do want to keep it random. You don't want to choose, as Kristen said, you don't want to choose your area in the field. So I will just choose a spot like that. And luckily my foot is exactly 12 inches from heel to toe. Uh, so I will measure a linear foot of row. So we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On that, uh, on that foot, these are six inch rows. So we're at about 18 plants per square foot uh, in this section of the field. And you'll want to do this in like four or five different places at least. Again, trying to keep it as random as possible to get a good average of what your uh, emergence actually is. So this is Team Maffrey's variety and it is SY4135, a new hybrid um, just being in, tested in test plots this year by Syngenta. Uh, it is in our CPT trials and it was sown at 5.5 miles per hour, sorry, 5.5 pounds per acre uh, with a seeding speed of three miles per hour. Also sown with the same disc drill. So again, we'll do the plant counts. So there's 31 here. So again, take that 31 times by four and divide by 10. So you're about 11 plants per square foot um, here in this variety. And for randomization, you would wanna make sure that you did you know, uh, several hoops throughout the field so that you had a good uh, average. Now, is there an optimal time to be doing this or a window you should be doing it in? Uh, definitely within like 10 to 14 days after seeding depending on emergence, I guess. Uh, it needs to be up in order to be counted. But uh, yeah, 10 to 14 days after, uh, in ideal conditions. So we're now in the CCA agronomist's plot and they so, chose to sow 5440. And because the rain was coming, we made the decision to go, instead of using the hoe drill, to using the Valmar and floating the canola on, and then we harrowed it in. And because we were um, going with the Valmar, we decided to increase our seeding rate, and they went at 7.2 uh, pounds uh, per acre. So we're gonna do our plant count here. Oh.
And we have 31 plants per quarter meter squared. So again, times by four and divide by 10 to roughly get your plants per square foot. And that'll be about 11. And I just solved my linear foot and row problem. That is a square foot. Excellent. So how many plants do you have? About a dozen in there. Twelve. Very consistent results. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Good job, Greg. <laughs>